Hello everyone, this is Carolyn, and today we're going to draw a cat. I, we already drew a dog, and for all those wonderful cat folks, we're going to draw a cat. So, does everybody have their paper and their pencil ready? So let's get started. And since everybody loved my leprechaun joke yesterday, I have a cat joke. So I have to just say my cat joke before we get started. So what is a cat's favorite color? Um, you can't guess. It is purple. Isn't that funny? Purple. Ha! I love it. Okay, let's get to work. So, first we're going to draw a nose. And it is an upside down triangle. Just like our dog. But we're going to draw this a totally different from our dog. Okay, and then we're going to draw a J. And then a backwards J. And then we're going to put just a little tongue there. So now is where it gets a little different. We're going to start at the nose. And we're going to kind of go at an arc and go a line this way. And then we're going to go this way and do it this way. There you go. Try to keep those about the same size. Mine's a little off and that's all right. Okay, so we're going to start at this end and we're going to do two big hairs like that almost looks like an M and then we're going to come around here and then come around the mouth but we're gonna stop there and then we're gonna do the same thing over here we're gonna do those two hairs kind of like an M and we're gonna come bring it around and then around the mouth and then we're gonna meet up with our other line So then we're going to do his or her eyes. I don't know if you want your cat to be a, a boy cat or a girl cat, but it doesn't matter. So we're going to draw like ovals right here and an oval kind of right here. There we go. And cat's eyes are kind of cool. They have like an oval up and down in the center. So we're gonna do that on both of these eyes. They're kind of narrow and uh, squished oval, but up and down. And then you remember like the dog's eyes, we're gonna put a little light. And in the leprechaun's eyes, we're gonna put that little dot in our eyes. Don't forget the white dot. Okay. So, so far, he's looking pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start on our hair, I mean on our cheek, and we're gonna come up, and we're gonna do two hairs on his or her head, and then we're gonna go back down and meet the other cheek. And then the ears are everything in a cat. So we're going to go one ear, you go to the top and you point, and then you bring it back down. And then we come over here, we do the same thing, we start around here, go to the top, and then we bring it back down. There you go. He's got some big ears. And then you put the inside, you do the same thing, but a little smaller, and you do the same thing on this side but a little smaller. There we go. Now, if you want some whisk, I mean some eyelashes, you can do those. You can put some eyebrows. And if you want to, you can, like we did with the dog, you can put a little line up the center of their face. There you go. And now we're going to do the body. 
we're going to do a tiny neck because usually cats are much tinier than dogs. And then you remember how we did the collar? We're going to do an oval like this. See how that oval looks like it's going around their neck? And then we're going to move this down on both sides because we want to make it look a little thicker. And then we'll put our collar there. Now just like our dog, I want to put a tag on our cat. Now my dog's name's Leo, but I don't have a cat. Let's see. I'm just going to put a smiley face. So up here you can put hearts, you can put stars, you can put the stripes, however you want to do your collar. So now we're going to do the body and we're going to take this line over here and we're going to wiggle it around just like we did with the dog. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to go straight down. And then somewhere in the center, we're going to go straight down. And we're going to, just like the dog, put that paw there. And then put this up. And then we're going to do the same over here. Now, of course, same as before, if I'm going too fast, you can pause and, and rewind and do all that with the video. And then we're going to come up. Now we're going to stop here. Remember like we did with the dog. We're going to come over here and we're going to draw that back paw. And then the back leg is like right there. So we stopped here because we want to start a line up here. And we want to draw the chest and come right, right there. So this line, I have to go up a little bit. And so there's our cat. And the best thing about a cat is their long tail. I'm going to make my tail really long. And it's thin. There you go. There you go. Now you can make all kinds of things with your, in the background. You can do flowers like your cats. And some flowers. Or you can do all kinds of stuff. Use your imagination. And I can't wait to see the colors that you choose. So this cat could be purple. He could be pink. Or multiple colors. You could have a polka dot cat. Have, I, have you ever seen a polka dot cat? You could do a polka dot cat. So fun. You can do whatever you'd like. That's the wonderful thing about art. And I love how you posted some of your drawings for me to see. I love that. Please do that again with your cat. And let me see the wonderful work you're doing. And, and have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.